I would probably say around about five, four or five, I started singing in the church. My dad's a pastor, and so I sung in the church with my father. As she grew up, Katina started focusing more on her job as a supply sergeant in the Army. And although she still visited her father often, her songbird talent went to the sideline until she received some very upsetting news. He was in a car accident. With most of his body fractured, there wasn't much the doctors could do for her father, Eugene. Katina went to visit him during his final moments. I think the Lord held him on long enough for me to be able to sing. We sang a song together when he was in the hospital, which was touchy. Sorry. So I'm just happy to know that, you know, I was able to hear his voice for the last time. After his death, Katina became more serious about her vocal talent, something her father had urged her to pursue when she was younger. It's a, a different type of feeling on the reason why I sing now. It's not just because, you know, I'm doing it for fun. I just feel like, you know, I have a purpose. You're saying singing is your purpose? I do. This new purpose has brought her to the Dragon Hill Lodge in South Korea on New Year's Eve. Katina is up against five other finalists, and the vocal talent she's competing with can be pretty intimidating. <laughs> I always say a prayer. I say a prayer before anything, whether it's a promotion board or anything. I'm going to make sure that my prayer has my father in it, especially, so I know he's going to be there with me. Every time I sing, I feel like his presence is with me. Eugene was there in spirit as his daughter stood on the stage and took home second place. Congratulations. As the new year rang out in South Korea, Katina received her first accomplishment of the new year and the first year she will spend without her father. Air Force Staff Sergeant Sarah Bryce, Yongsan, Korea.